Hello, and welcome to the Cathedral of Mary, Our Queen's Advent Video Reflection Series. My name is Father Kevin Ewing. I'm the Associate Pastor here at the Cathedral. Today is Monday of the first week of Advent. You know, as we think about our journey into Advent, we're invited really to prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ. When we think about what Advent entails, this time of preparation, this time of waiting, it's really so that we can prepare for what Christ is able to accomplish in our midst today. You see, when we celebrate the great holiday of Christmas, it's not simply celebrating a historical context, a historical event. Rather, as we consider the beauty of the mystery of the Incarnation, the profound impact that Christ's coming on earth, his dwelling amongst us, has had, we're invited to accept anew each and every time we celebrate that great blessed Incarnation to accept anew Christ coming into our world, into our experience, into our hearts, in an ever more deep and profound way. First, we celebrate this season of Advent in order to prepare our hearts for Christ's coming. You know, you might be thinking about all the different plans that you have for the upcoming Christmas celebrations, about how you have to get everything just so, for friends and family who might be coming by to visit, all the gifts you have to buy, the way you have to get your house in order. In a similar way, we have to prepare a place for Christ to come and dwell in our midst. A lot of times, I think there's some clutter in our hearts that we have to get rid of. There's some junk, some messiness, some distractions and hectic parts of our lives that can really tune us out to where Christ wants to make his presence known. This season of Advent, invite you to declutter your lives, to declutter your hearts, to prepare a home for Christ to dwell richly within you. Today, when we think about that gospel reading of the centurion who invites Christ to heal his injured slave, we know that Christ wants to come and be present to him, but the centurion, he acknowledges with humility, Christ, I'm not even worthy to have you enter under that God can accomplish so many things, but when we invite him into our homes, when we prepare a place for him in our hearts, Christ can accomplish so much more than we could ever ask or imagine. Just as that centurion slave was healed on account of the great faith that the centurion possessed, so we're also called to deepen our faith, especially at this time of waiting, of anticipation, of expectation of Christ. So many areas, not just in our own personal lives, but places in our world in which we really need, we desperately need the Advent coming of Christ. So let us prepare our hearts during this season to welcome Christ in. Amen.